Alright, so this is a mixture problem. That's, it's the kind of um, word problem that you can expect from college entrance exams, by the United States Civil Service exam. And um, it's very important for you to know then how to solve it. It's actually pretty easy once you've done it a couple of times. Medyo nagiging automatic na yung processing ng information. But if you haven't seen the full video lesson on this type of problem yet, the link will also be here in the video and in the, the description or dun sa... A uh, note that I have attached to this. So maganda if na palad yung muna yon, kasi um, it'll be easier for you to figure this out. All right. So uh, sabi dito if you mix twenty liters of uh, thirty percent salt solution with ten liters of forty five percent salt solution, what will the new salt concentration be? So basically, pinaghalo mo yung dalawang bagay. Now, eto yung Laging uh, starting point ng gitong klaseng tanong, yung buckets natin dito. And then you just put the information in. So sabi, meron ka daw 20 liters ng 30% na salt solution. Halo mo siya sa 10 liters na 45% salt solution ang hinahanap yung kalalabasan. Okay, now hindi natin alam kung ano yung percentage. Pero alam natin, of course, kung nag-add ka ng 20 liters at saka 10 liters, ilang liters na ngayon ang kalalabasan niya. Dapat 30 liters. So that is just something na laging ginagawa sa ganitong klaseng type of problem. Minsan, bibigay sa iyo yung total na amount na kinalabasan. Minsan, isa-isa. So you have to figure out all of them by adding or subtracting, depende sa sitwasyon. In this case, madali lang, 30 liters lang yan. The next thing that you're going to do is just to basically multiply these, add these. So ang formula mo magiging 30 times 20, and then you have plus... Uh, you have for your 45 times 10 is equal to, and then you have your x times 30. Now, you notice here, hindi ko na nalagay yung percentage. When I was younger, ang turo din sa akin, gagawin mo pang percentage yung uh, 30%. So, gagawin mo pa siyang uh, decimal. Magiging dapat would be 0 0.30 times 20, and then plus 0 0.45 times 10 is equal to, x times 30. Kaya lang sa akin kasi, mas mahirap for me visually to deal with percentages or decimals. So, I just leave it there and then i-add ko na lang yung percentage sign sa sagot. That's what I do. Okay? Kasi mas madali lang i-handle yung 30 times 20 kasi 600 yan plus 45 times 10 which is 450 kesa yung mag-deal pa ako with decimals. It's equal to 30x. So, i-add lang natin yan. 600 plus 450, that is 1,050, is equal to 30x. Again, the goal is to leave x in here, dito sa side na yan. So, ang gagawin natin para makancel yung 30, i-divide natin both sides by 30. Makakancel ito, that would be x is equal to, again, parehong may 0 sa dulo, pwede mo nang tanggalin agad. And yung 105 naman divisible siya sa 3, the answer would be 3, 9, 1, 35. Don't forget to put yung symbol ng percent. So the answer is 35%. Like I told you guys, it's always easier once you get the hang of it. Uh, I actually have a secret technique dito rin that I teach the online chance live review event. So if you're coming to the live review or joining the online review program, you'll see how to handle this, lalo na kung may option siya in a faster way. It's actually 
just a few seconds for you to figure it out. And um, if you haven't seen the full video lesson, then it is a traditional method that should be here. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube account. Uh, just look for Team Laika, L-Y-Q-A, and uh, sa aking Facebook page for more free resources. Thanks, guys, for watching. Share this with your friends. Lalo na kung marami rin mag-e-exam sa kanila. Never stop learning. Anja, anja. Kaya niya na. See you in the next video. And bye for now. Thank you.